I'm Becca Frux. And I'm Tyler Oakley. And it is time for this week's Lightning, Lightning round. round. That's right. This week we were playing a little game, but we have a special guest here. We Becca, do. who is it? <gasps> Miss Coco Perry. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming. Are you kidding me? I'm thrilled to be here. Oh my gosh. I'm like starstruck though, because I have been in love with you forever. We met uh, at a premiere a couple months ago. Mm-hmm. And I just have been in love with you ever since I first saw your videos. And I had a box of Tension Tamer in my bag for you yes, that night. Yes, and you never gave it to it's me. It's here. It's here in, <gasps> no. in the green room. This is happening. Do you have a, a box for her? I bought two. Oh, oh I was about to say, we can you. share. Thank you for ruining the surprise. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. So it's over. I'm so excited. Well, now that we have you here in studio, yes. would you play a game with us? I'd love to play a game. Okay, Becca, what are we doing today? Okay, it's called Cross Dress for Less. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we were trying to figure out what to name the game, and you came up with a brilliant name and how did you come up with it? Well, because I buy a lot of these dresses at Ross, which But we, this is not from Ross. No, this is from Banana Republic. Outlet. Just so you know. Outlet. Yes. You know what I mean? And uh, you gotta be you gotta be thrifty. Oh yeah. I don't I don't <laughs> spend no. No. So we call it Ross Cross Dress for Less. Ooh. And so this game is all about we're gonna see pictures of celebrities in drag. Mm -hmm. Women dressing as men, men dressing as women. The whole rigmarole. We're gonna check that out, and then we the have the whole what now? Rigmarole. Is that a word? It is in New York. So, I feel like I'm starting to talk like you, so like I'm like rigmarole. Like I don't know what's going on. Yikes. So if I just start doing my Jewish grandmother over here, just let me do it. Okay. Exactly. Is that okay? Can I, I just feel right mazel. at home. Yeah, mazel, everyone. This is the game we're playing. <laughs> okay, let's play. Are okay, you ready? So yeah, ready? we're gonna see and I'm pictures. I'm so ready. Okay, let's do this. Top there. Gay people have told me I need to watch this. I'm so in it. Good. What? You're I'm in, in it? it? This versatile actor from the Judd Apatow crew was photographed by Terry Richardson in drag for the cover of Candy Magazine. Is it A, Jason Siegel, B, James Franco, or C, Paul Rudd? I know the answer, but it looks like art pop, does it not? Mm, you mean applause? like- Applause? Okay, like Gaga so you're getting applause? a Gaga, a fuzzy Gaga. That looks like the cover of Applause. Coco, is anything speaking to you? But I know you? who it is. Do you know who it is? No. But I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's not me on a cover okay. of the magazine. Okay. Yeah, well, <laughs> but I'm gonna say um, the Seagal guy. Jason. Yeah. Jason's. Well, I, that wait. looks like the shape of his head to me. Does it? Wait, maybe I'm Hold wrong. Hold on, but Jason Siegel's a big dude. Yeah, yeah, he is. And you feel like this person's is broad enough? Either it's way, Siegel, I don't I know who that is. Doing it's the, Jason you know, the Siegel. <laughs> so that's how I just. I it's think, so when I do my Jewish grandmother voice. Um, I think, no wait, I think it's James Franco. I think it's Franco. I think you're wrong. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, so well, James. Well, who was it? It, it was, was James oh, Franco. Franco. <laughs> oh, <you're> like, <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell. Uh, I still can't tell. Oh, yeah. How it do we think beautiful. he looks? Yeah? Yeah. He's mm -hmm. beautiful. I feel like James Franco also is like dresses in drag like on the regular by himself, like he, whatever. I think he said before he's a bit like very gender fluid. He doesn't care mm -hmm. about gender roles. Well, I saw him at that big art convention down in Los Angeles uh -huh. last year, and he looked like a bum, really. <laughs> you were like, I don't so care. About everybody's you. dressed so beautifully and chic, and he looked like a bum. And, and I thought, you know, upgrade? when you're that rich and famous and gorgeous, you can dress like a bum. <laughs> you, no, that's what happens when you get to that level of fame. Then you just you don't care. You I just can't bum wait. It out. You can just show up. That's gonna. Well, you're not doing it right now. How dare, a, how dare you? <laughs> B, how dare you? <laughs> what for laughing? Yes. Oh. Okay. Next up, okay. let's see. This mega pop star dressed as a '70s game show host, complete with mustache, for a segment on the Ellen Show. Mm. Britney Spears, Madonna, or Katy Perry? Ooh. Ooh, that's hard. I don't know. I'm gonna say Katy Perry. She is very Just theatrical. because she likes dressing up a lot. Mm -hmm. In all her videos, she's dressed up. Britney she would does. be way too nervous for this. No, Britney would flip. She would flop. And I feel like Madonna, that's something she would have done like when I was young. Okay. <laughs> you're just like, no, uh, you're, I feel like Madonna When you were one. Too, yeah, okay, thanks. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm thinking Katie. I think you're right. I think it's Katie too. Let's see. It. Yeah, Boom. it's Katie. Oh, uh, look at that her. That was easy. But she's even Yikes. cute with that big oh, old Oh, thank stash. you. I get one right. That was easy. <laughs> I mean. They're rough. <laughs> They're rough here. But Katie Perry's really, really adorable with a mustache. Uh, she looks like a four-year-old little boy with wearing a mustache. <laughs> I like when she dresses up. Dressing up is fun. I uh, yeah. Agree. yeah and, she, and she figured it out. Oh, my God. I don't have my glasses. <laughs> this pop sensation channeled her inner Bieber look for a sketch on Saturday Night Live. You already know who this is. Is it A, Miley Cyrus, B, Katy Perry, or C, Britney Spears? I actually mm. don't know who it is. 
It's A, Miley Cyrus. <laughs> See, are you sure? Well, no. Is but but look at the I'm side sweep. That looks like, like I am. Miley Cyrus. That's her face. Sweep. That's her. That's her. Come on. You are done. Coco's ready. Okay, A, A. Miley. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Wow. Oh wow! Look at that. She's bringing like I angry Bieber. Did you all say A one. as well? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you piggybacked. Yeah. <laughs> you always <laughs> piggyback each style. other, don't you? We kind of no, do. No, she. She's the worst. <laughs> so she just copies true. everything that I do. <laughs> Not even. This English actor switched up his look to play a celebrity supermodel in the 2009 film Rage. Is this A, Gary Oldman, B, Jude Law, C, Daniel Craig? Daniel Craig is just like a, a hunk of man flesh. I feel Jude like it would Law. be hard. I think it's Jude Law. Jude Law is Jude pretty. So I'm not pretty. so pretty. He's very <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Jude Law? I think it's Jude Law too. Okay, there oh, we go. Wow. Oh my gosh. He looks great. This duo went full sorority girl recently on Jimmy Fallon's late night parody teen Nick show, Ew. Ow. Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum, Zach Galifianakis and Bradley Cooper, or Seth Rogen and Zach Efron. I you know, know this, I think I, I know. I'm gonna say Hold on. C. I think it's C. I think it's C. Because I remember seeing Zach and Tatum. I know, well, I know that's Channing. Zach, <gasps> look yes. at the arms. That's, yeah. that's a sexy oh, arm. Oh yeah, and they did it for Neighbors. Yeah. To promo Was that what that was? Mm -hmm. Okay, I think C. We gotta figure it out. There we go. Bam. See, Zach is so handsome as a man, I don't think it works Re for him as a woman. No, but he's still, well, he's so ripped now. He's just. Who is your celebrity crush? Because mine might be Zach Efron. Mm, no, no, I mean, officially, obviously, Ryan Gosling. Oh, yeah. It's Ryan Gosling. Who is yours? I don't know. To put you on the Come spot. on, you gotta have You one. have to. A, a celebrity crush? Well, I, I, I know who it was a few years okay. ago. I, ha I had a crush on The Rock. I am what? so with you on yeah, that. I did. What? No, I just, for real. I just, just, he's so big, and I just wanted him to uh, pick me up and. And then what? Know, I don't know. Throw me or anything he wants to do with me, really. <laughs> okay. But I do I know, find him. I, am I with do you. find him. Um, I still find him attractive. I too can smell what and the I rock used to, is cooking. I, Which one is I don't the know rock? what Keanu Reeves looks like much nowadays, but I, years ago I, I did have the hot. I'm going to tell Reeves. you, he's gone a little more bum. But the rock still is looking. Yeah, good. he's hot. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh no, I'm. All about that. Well, thank you for validating <laughs> me. All about that. You can have And one. I feel like he's like a really good man. Oh, good you know, man. I bet he would treat me right. And he would be the big spoon. Everything's good there. <laughs> That's Everything's the right. Thing. That's all he needs. Uh, uh, the big what? The big spoon. What's that mean? I'm like, like do we need to reenact <laughs> the big spoon and like the little spoon? Like if you're spoon? laying with somebody in bed. Oh, he's spooning you and he's the big one. He's when the a big. man loves another man. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> this mega music star left his tough image behind when he donned this dress and go. wig for a music video in 2002. Is it A, Eminem, B, Kid Rock, C, John Mayer? I think Kid Rock. Uh, mm. I it's not Eminem. I think it's Eminem. I think it could be Eminem. I, I think it's Eminem. I'm going Eminem really? too. I'm going A. I'm going B. Woo. It's Eminem! Wow, Becca. he looks great. Woo. Look at that face. Yeah, I, well, it's not. Great. You know, he's got a real <laughs> white trash thing happening yeah, that I am here for. Are you? Yes. Is that your, is that your type? And that hair, look at the halo. He needs he's a lit cigarette. by like, it he looks like he's. Cigarette. Yeah, well, he looks you don't know what he's quiet. holding. And he looks angelic, I think. This A-lister got his start in television playing a man disguised as oh, a woman. Oh, I know who it is, because I actually used to watch this show. That's how old Okay, don't tell me. A, I know. Robert Downey Jr., B, Sean Penn, C, Tom Hanks. I literally have zero clue. I think I might have He looks tall and I'm going to tell you who it is. It's wait, C, no, no, wait. No, wait, oh. C Tom Hanks, and I have a new ga name for this game. How to make the old drag queen feel even older. <laughs> I love See, this game. Tom Hanks. Is it? it yeah. We get zero points for that. <laughs> you get a point. We get you no get points. a point. No, we should. I was going to get Tom Hanks just simply based on the hair. Based so. on the lankiness. Yeah, yeah. This fave SNL host rocked a Jessica Simpson impression on SNL opposite none other than Jimmy Fallon as Nick Lachey. Is it Seth MacFarlane, Justin Timberlake, or Bruce Willis? It's got to be B. Justin Timberlake. It's Justin Timberlake. He's so great on that show. He right. is. And he is a fave. He kills yeah, it. Yeah. I bet. <laughs> Yes. Oh wow! Oh wow! Yeah, look at those. Look, he's got great cheekbones. Oh, that looks like so the Friends love set. Him. This hunky actor sang, and I am telling you from the Dreamgirls soundtrack in an elegant evening gown on SNL when the film debuted in 2006. Is it A. Jake Gyllenhaal, B. Leonardo DiCaprio, or C. Ryan Gosling? I don't know. It's not Leonardo. Okay, it's 2006. It's not Leo. What oh, were these I, people I would to? say it's Jake, Jake Gyllenhaal. I want to say because yeah. I think I, he has a sense of humor. To that and I would right. know if Ryan Gosling was in a dress. Like that would be something that would be part of my 
just general knowledge. knowledge of of, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go A. It's gotta be it's A. a. Yeah. Yep. Uh, okay. Oh, look at him. Was this when he was doing that Prince of Persia situation? Maybe. Remember when he was like, or maybe jacked? it was, um, what's the gay movie? Brokeback? Yep. Brokeback Cowboy? Maybe this is Brokeback. Well, no, this era. was in 2006. So it was Brokeback. Well, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I love your argument. You're like, actually, I no. <laughs> mm, this A list actor <laughs> donned a gold sequin bra and hot pants while playing a transvestite in The Harvest in 1992. A, George Clooney, okay. B, Brad Pitt, C, Matthew McConaughey. Whoa. I have no clue. I have, yeah. I'm going to say what Brad Pitt. Pitt. You're saying? I'm Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. I'm going to say Matthew McConaughey. No way. I'm saying Brad Pitt, too. Wait. We're Wait, all George wrong. Clooney. Oh, wow. George Clooney could also get it. This is like a big, huge list <laughs> wow. of everyone who could get it. <laughs> Having played tough guys in romantic male leads. Oh, well, I know this one. This actor slipped into a more feminine role alongside Wesley Snipes and John Leguizamo. Thank you. In the 1995 film, Tu Wong Fu. Thanks for everything, Julie Newmar. Keanu Reeves, Patrick Swayze, or John Travolta. See, don't say anything. Let's let Tyler guess. I have no clue. I haven't seen this. So but you... gay people have told me I need to watch this. It's I'm so in good. it. What? You're I'm in it? I'm in it. What? I'm the drag queen that follows him with a gun and crushes my glass. You are in this? Yes. That is amazing. Patrick Swayze. Oh. Yeah. It's so is it? Good. I will <laughs> say he was, You're the, in this? he was the sweetest man. He really oh. was. He was lovely oh to me. Gosh. And he gave so each good. of us a, um, a little uh, mirror that he engraved uh, with our names, Love Patrick Swayze, from um, oh my gosh. Tiffany. At the, when it was wow. all this is the best. I had a great time. <laughs> this legendary, <laughs> look at me. Eh, this legendary frontman and solo artist joined Elton John on stage back in 2010 wearing quite the fabulous outfit. Is it A, David Bowie, B, Mick Jagger, or C, Sting? I have no clue. David Bowie's like kind of almost always sort of in drag a little bit. He is definitely playful, He's playful in his appearance. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say Who? Mick Jagger. I'm saying Sting. I want to say Sting. I feel like Mick Jagger. His neck doesn't look that good. Oh, I just, how I just, dare you! I love you, Mick. Yeah, it's 2010. You might be right. <laughs> <laughs> I can't I may have had some work done. It's fine. There we go. It is. That's Gaga. Wait, and did you talk about Gaga? Is, no. Well, Gaga was just there. My amongst, queen. Why was Sting dressed in, just because? He just, just wanted because. to be. Because he can. Because he can. This sir and master thespian dressed up as Dame Maggie Smith along Jimmy Fallon in a 2002 edition of SNL's Weekend Update. Is it A, Sir Patrick Stewart, B, Sir Sean Connery, or C, Sir Ian McKellen? I think it's C. I think it's Patrick Stewart. They're best friends, right? Well, you know yeah. what? I'm going to go with Patrick Stewart, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have you seen pictures of Patrick you. Stewart? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm still going C. Okay. We're going with You're going Patrick. A. I'm going to go with A. <gasps> yes! You oh, got wow. it! Wow, look at him go. Good for him. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay, this hunky heartthrob also appeared in The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon's sketch, yeah, where he dressed in mm. this fabulous outfit. Channing Tatum, Hugh Jackman, or Mark Wahlberg? Say no this one. Yeah. I thought it was going to be Taylor Lautner. I'm going to say... Ch uh, Chatham, whatever his name is. Channing. Chan Channing, Channing, all Channing, Channing, Channing all over Channing your Tatum. Tatum? Yeah. What do you got, Look Tyler? Look at the arms. The arms yeah. are huge. I'm between Channing and Mark. I say Channing. It's Channing. It's Def Channing. Whoa. He, I think he was the best co-star they've he looks had. pretty. He looks He was He's, so yeah, funny in this bad. sketch. With the cast that included Angelina Jolie, Alec Baldwin, and Robert De Niro, this big time actor dressed in drag and sang show tunes in the 2006 film The Good Shepherd. A, Johnny Depp. B, Matt Damon, C, Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck. <laughs> what is it, what, are, what is ben it? Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck. I, I That's a good drag I followed Ben, ben Affleck, Affleck <laughs> into a bathroom once. Do you, me, you like Ben Affleck, I'm in the bathroom? Well, he went, in, he went into the stool, I was very disappointed. Uh, <laughs> ew, because you could have had some real intel for I us. did, I, I, mm. that's my duty, really. It is. I think it's Matt Damon, though. I do, too. I'm gonna go Ben Affleck. Of course I you think are. It, I think it's <laughs> Madamon. I think it's Madamon. B. Oh it's my Damon. gosh. Wow. Yikes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that is bad news bears. It's Not a good look for him. A puffy yeah. Bernadette Peters right there. <laughs> it's great. We need to see who won. Oh, who gosh. do you think won? Uh, well, I know it wasn't me. I don't I know. Been. No. I feel like you had some intel, you had some resources that you really you brought to bear. No. 
<laughs> and personal experiences. You were personally connected with this material. Oh, it was Becca. me. See, thank you for the clap. He always gives me this. I'm a little competitive. I'm a little she pays competitive. Them off. That is not true. It's fine. It's great. Enjoy your win. Okay. Can you tell everyone how they can find you? At my website, kokapoo.com, or on um, Facebook, or mm -hmm. Twitter, or mm -hmm. Tumblr, or Instagram, all those places. Everywhere. But, but if, if people want to come see my shows, they really should go and join my email list at my website, kokapoo.com. Okay. And you have a bunch of shows. You have shows coming up. I leave for Spain tomorrow for vacation. Incredible. But then uh, in August, I'll be on the East Coast in Ogunquit, P Town for a week, and uh, I'm doing the Berkshires. Beautiful so, little hotel. Yeah. Fun. Well, if you want to get tickets, get tickets. It'll be the best show of your life. And go follow, give her love, and thank you for watching, everyone. Thank you for coming on the thank show. Thank you, and thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye, y'all.